Okay, everyone. So, today is the day that I do this first start of the generator. Um, like I said, I've never started it before. So, um, y'all are going to be here with me during this first start. I may have to put the camera down, which that's what it looks like because I have to use both hands to do something. I'll put the camera on my little stand thing if it would stay up. I don't know why this thing's not. There it goes. All right, so it's on the stand, but it's not gonna give you the view that I like so there it is okay so I'm gonna I don't feel like taking this front panel off so I'm gonna see if I can't get this off without taking that panel off it comes with all the tools that you need um, to put this together um, for the most part uh, except for the I guess it's about an eight or nine millimeter um, wrench to take that cover off to um, hook the battery up which is is fine because it came with the actual plugs that you need to be able to uh, hook up and uh, power power thing right, now I'm looking at this right here I don't know if you can see it or not um, I'll try to bring it back into focus or something. Um, there we go. And it's the little terminal cover. And that thing is pretty cheap. And it's got a tear in it already. And the only thing I did was move it back like that. No big deal. Um, it seems everybody's building taking cheap ways out of things these days so why wouldn't this company okay so let me see if I can get this in here and try to get this bolt started on the, the nut hopefully I can I think I just did hopefully uh, yeah, I did. So, I know you can't see what I'm doing, but hooking the battery terminal up. I'm going to try to put it in fairly tight enough that the negative cable can connect and ground it so I can start it. That's fairly tight. Okay, so I'm going to pick you up. Um, sorry for the hand. Um... So this is all the controls on it, and like I said, I put the negative cable on the battery here. The positive is already connected, and you can see probably that little rip in that little plastic boot. Um, so I'm going to go around here, put a couple gallons of gas in here. It's dirty, as you can see that uh, I left the garage door open and all the pollen and such has got on it. Um, let's see here. The fuel valve is off. Let's cut it on. Like I said, I've never um, started this before. So the choke is closed, choke is open. Uh, let's see what happens. I'm not gonna pull start it. Let's see if the battery is still charged from when I bought it. Now, what do you have to do to start this? I read the directions, but uh, I don't remember off the top of my head, but battery on. Oh, as you can see, we got a, we got a light on. And let's see, engine start. I don't 
idle control on and it idled down. So everything's working as it should. Um, I'm gonna let it run a while. I just wanted to show you all the first startup and share it with you. Um, so far, I like it. Um, no smoke, everything sounds good. I'm gonna let it run um, maybe half an hour uh, just to let it run uh, and see what it does, make sure everything's okay. Um, I'm gonna flip off this idle control and see if it revs back up. Yep. I guess the idle control is working for sure, so I'm going to go ahead and get off here and uh, just wanted to share that with everybody that uh, has commented or sent me a text message or emailed me about this uh, generator. Um, it's fairly simple, you know. I'm going to build a pad to put it on and uh, a cover for it. And other than that, all is well. Um, satisfied with this purchase, I may take it around the other side of my shop and just hook my welder into it because it's got the same plug that I use for my, my stick welder just to see how it handles with that. But uh, all is good. Satisfied with it. And uh, see you in the next video.